what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are so i have this uh video to share with you during an interview with ait uh former labor party governorship candidate also talking about the uh, julio zabure uh you know looting in uh the party of course, uh, we are already aware of the political crisis uh, looming in Labour Party. It all started uh, when the national treasurer came out uh, to accuse uh, the national chairman, Julius Abure, of embezzling billion, I think, amount to 1.3 billion Naira campaign fund during the uh, 2023 presidential election. And then the, it got to the attention of their leader, that is uh, Peter Obi, and uh, Peter Obi had to give uh, some breakdown of the expenditure, expenses uh, during that 2023 presidential election and also order external audit to come and audit uh, those accounts and then the, make uh, everything or the findings public. And then the, another lady also came out that was um, uh, the former acting national chairman uh, also talked about the same thing, how she was removed from office by Julia Zaburi uh, with talks uh, during the um, uh, NEC meeting. Of course, that is no longer news. We are already aware of that. So the latest development is that uh, a state chairman in the Labour Party has given his vote of confidence for Julius Abure. Now, don't get me wrong. This is politics. I am not a member of a Labour Party. I really don't do uh, partisan politics. I only love talking about politics. Now, let us not concentrate on the political party because from what I am seeing, what is going on, believe it or not, this is just a ploy uh, to destroy the credibility of uh, Peter Obi. Um, ahead of 2027 uh, election, you understand. And then um, that is politics for you. So uh, a former governorship candidate is also out here uh, talking about uh, the looting, the betrayal, uh, which I'm going to share the video for you guys. How Julius uh, Abure, uh, you know, conducted primary election where he won and Julius Abure had to make a deal with someone else, but I don't want to talk much. I want you guys to listen to what he said, and then the, if you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. Just like I told you guys, this is politics. Since we are not members of the Labour Party or in their caucus, you understand? Nobody seems to believe what is going on. Nobody knows the truth. Nobody knows who is lying. But Julius Abure has denied all the allegation level against him as the national chairman of Labour Party. You understand? Now, some people will say, ah, uh, they are being bankrolled, they are being sponsored against uh, Julius Abure, but I really don't know anything about that. These are politicians. You understand? So, just like I keep telling you guys, politics do not change a man. It is only a man that change political party. You understand? So nobody's going to bow or swear for Julius Abule, Abure that he's uh, clean or the allegation level against him are not true or whatsoever. You understand? But that is just the update I have given to you so far. So good. I have more updates to share with you. Uh, how Peter Obi have been, uh, is being threatening to you know, be dismissed uh, from Labour Party. Of course, I will give you in my next video more details on that. But before then, just listen to what uh, the former uh, governorship candidate said about what happened during the primaries. So, like I told you that I am a victim of uh, Julius Abure's irregularity. When election, primary election, was conducted in Ebony, around, uh, that, that was on May, May 9th of, May, uh, of June 2022, there was a primary conducted. And I was validly nominated as a governorship candidate. That primary was duly monitored by INEC and report given by INEC. My name was published by INEC as the governorship candidate of the Labour Party. The manipulation of Abure started. Abure went and had a deal with one man 
called architect Edward Okwego Kereke. He had a deal? Yes. I, the deal? I can, are you he, sure? Do, yes, did, yes. Do you I, have proof yes, that he had a yes, deal? Yes, yes, I do. Everything I, everything I tell you here, I came with a lot of documents, which but, I will, please, I will we, unveil to you. Be, because we, I, we, we like statements with facts. I am coming. I have proof of everything I'm telling you. So, uh, this uh, architect Edward Okwego Kereke participated in APC primary as at that time and lost. I was already nominated as a governorship candidate. My name published by INEC. The same Edward Okereke went and met with um, uh, Julius Abure. And they struck a deal, which the man made a confessional statement in the police, that he paid uh, 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 Julius Abure in four installments, 50, 50 million naira each in four, in four installments. Thereafter, thereafter, Julius Abure now wrote a letter of uh, voluntary withdrawal to INEC, stating to INEC that I have withdrawn from the race, that I am incapacitated. Wrote a letter. Voluntary. That was supposed to be your letter and your signature. Yeah. How can, that, how can he write on your behalf? That is, that is where I'm coming. The, 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 he, he forged my signature. He, he forged your yes, signature. Yes, he did. He did. I have the document here. You know this thing? He, the, Julius Abure is a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. I'm that sure is, you know. That is why we... So some of the statements that you're making, a lawyer will know that forging is crime. That is why all of us are surprised. So how for, would you say for Abure a lawyer, forged your signature? For a lawyer to forge a signature of a candidate who is alive and sent to INEC that the candidate has withdrawn without the consent of the, of the candidate is a crime in the country. So this is the letter because I speak with facts. So are you telling us that you never wrote any letter? I didn't. You didn't? I didn't. You didn't sign a letter I, withdrawing from the I race. didn't sign any letter. And uh, you know, my signature is a very complex one. So he, how would somebody forge he, a complex signature? He couldn't, he couldn't get my signature correctly. Okay. He resorted into using EO as a signature of a governorship candidate. Oh, just EO? EO. I, this is the document here. At for the whole, not, because it's for the whole world clear. to see. It's fake. You, I can give you to your screen for the whole world to see.